Hey guys, it's your girl Crystal and I am back with the most anticipated tutorial. <laughs> Finally decorating a wire bra, showing you my creative process. So excited to show you guys this tutorial because I <laughs> really didn't know what I was going to show you and this happened. So for this tutorial, you're going to need obviously the covered wire bra. I'm using sequin fabric, scissors, glue gun and glue stick. Now with the sequins, I just love how the iridescence pops off of this fabric like it is life. All the different fall colors, there's purple tones in there, yellows, greens, oranges. It's so pretty. It's just like a like almost like embers, like fire embers. So basically what I did was I just cut a strip of the sequins, just one row of it and I'm just showing you guys how I'm separating the sequins from the mesh fabric, just basically cutting the fabric away from the sequins and separating them. Um, and I feel like it's going to be super tedious to do this, obviously, but I think it's worth it just because you always want to challenge yourself as a designer. So, um, and I think this is probably one of the cheaper ways to, to get a, a really abstract edgy look um without having to use like s expensive stones and gems if especially if you don't have access to that see i already cut up a whole bunch of sequins but i just wanted to show you guys how i did it initially so i've already cl completed one side and the reason why is because uh, well it took a long time and i really needed to show you guys how i line up um, both sides because you obviously can't decorate both at the same time you kind of have to do one and then I kind of eyeball it um, based off of what you've already designed so basically even if it's not like perfect um, it's still you know gonna be close enough especially if you have good eye hand coordination um, so basically I'm just lining up the height of the sequins with what I did on the completed side and in this design what I'm doing is basically like covering the bra with like layers of, of hot glue and then taking the sequins and staggering them in a fashion where it's like almost like a pyramid kind of thing so each level of the pyramid um, it you know grows shorter and shorter and shorter but it's all done in a staggered effect so it's almost it almost gives the bra like a 3d type of look which i love and then with all the colors combined and then you know once you have light um that flash when the light flashes on the bra it'll be so pretty and so shiny and just oh my god so <laughs> basically i'm just repeating what i've done for each level um, layering the glue and then I'm taking the sequins and I'm just staggering them like one at a time <laughs> I know super tedious like why did you pick this as the first decorating tutorial I know it's just that I thought it would be a really cool idea and I wanted to show you guys what you can do with fabric that you have just laying around and you know basically that you might throw it away or something that you don't have enough fabric to sew like an actual dress or anything like that but you could actually use it to decorate a bra so yeah you gotta think about these things because carnival design costume design can become costly so what i'm doing i'm just counting the layers on the completed side to make sure it's matching up with what i'm doing on the uncom the unfinished side and you know just want to make sure that it all lines up and after about four layers, I am now kind of flaring out the sequins just to give it that nice, full, flared out look as it comes down the cup. Um, it's basically completing the shape of the cup um, because as you can see from the top of the triangle, it's skinnier and then it comes down. It, it, gets, much, it gets much thicker, wider. So I'm just using the sequins um, to kind of accentuate what the cup already what the bra already gives us so i'm just continuing layering and layering <laughs> it is a bit tedious but 
I think it's I think it's definitely gonna be worth it and it's already shining so much I love it like it's it's so exciting to see like different what you can do with different types of materials on these wonderful like um wire bras I'm like so excited about this so yeah I think with this bra you can wear this like as a festival look at Coachella or Afropunk definitely Afropunk um you can wear this to a carnival um, as a Monday wear type of thing with a bottom, a cute matching bottom. Um, you can wear this with jeans um, to a Halloween party. You could be a hippie or you could really do some crazy makeup and wear this bra and have it accentuate, you know, your look and stuff like that. Like literally you can do anything with this type of bra. And that's the type of bras I feel like, you know, we should all kind of create just something that you could kind of wear a, a, a bunch of times versus just once or twice you know what I mean so yeah as I continue down the bra I definitely want you guys to take note of the fact that I am using a whole heap of glue and it's only because I am very heavy-handed and also because I want everything to stay in place now when I'm gluing the sequin I am not only just placing it on the glue, I'm like literally engulfing it into the glue. So it's almost like I'm sliding it into a glue pocket, just making sure that it's staying, it's stuck, it has nowhere to go, it will not fall off. <laughs> so yeah, and I'm trying my best to be as careful as possible, but you better believe I definitely burn myself a couple of times while i was um decorating this bra like it's no joke at all um so yeah basically um yeah this is basically just the design process there's like no real wrong or right way to go about when go about this with this type of bra i want to say this is like an abstract type of design um you just want to make sure that the top layer the top layers line up with the completed side of the bra like every so often check it to see if everything's lining up and making sure that nothing is falling out of place or bending forward or anything like that um but yeah like you literally if you make a mistake with this style you can go back and you can fill in or just remove or basically i think filling in with other sequins <laughs> would help to like cover up little mistakes or something like that you know so you don't feel like oh my god i messed it up i don't think you really can mess mess this up per se like this is just one of those bras that you just go with the flow and it is what it is you know what i mean and it, it and it is what it is and the phrase it is what it is can become something beautiful as well because not all art not all creations are uniform um you have art that comes in abstract forms and just complicated combobulated forms and they still look amazing so and that's kind of my i guess design aesthetic i like edginess i like abstractness i don't like complete order I like a bit of chaos and a little bit of madness and just raw sexiness and, and stuff like that. Like, I love edginess. Like, I, I like making pretty things edgy. Um, like, one of my, I guess, idols I'd say that I look up to would be Lady Gaga. And it wasn't at first because of her music. I, I now love her music, but I love the costumes and just the risk and chances she would take with her costumes i also love um tina turner and just the costumes and just like everything that she represents um and i think um just like watching watching those artists perform in the type of outfits that they performed in that inspires me to you know continue with the type of aesthetic that i like because a lot of people will be like a lot of people in the design world will tell you, oh, that's not right, or oh, that's not that's not nice enough, but you can't let people kind of control how you design. 
Like there are there are um techniques that you can use to tighten up and keep your stuff neat and cute and stuff like that. Um, you know, that'll enhance your design, but at the end of the day, you know, your aesthetic is your aesthetic. You create your your design. Like at the end of the day, I don't feel like um someone I don't feel like there's a handbook with how you should design a costume. Like literally is what you feel and how you want it to come across of course like i said there are techniques out there with you know that um will teach you how to literally make your design stand out more so i would say pay attention to those but never let anybody control the way that you design so yeah we are finally getting to the end <laughs> a long rant soon i'm gonna be done um and I'm basically like literally like just doing the same thing I was doing earlier, um, adding glue and taking the sequins and just like plugging them in and my hand is blocking the way. But um, please forgive me. I'm literally new to YouTube and this new type of way of recording and I promise I will get better. I'm looking at, you know, different types of equipment, to, you know, better quality lighting, better camera and stuff like that. So you guys can see better details and, and learn more stuff. So if you guys also have any questions, please drop them in the comments section. I will be more than willing to answer. Um, also, if you have any critiques as well i'm very open to that as well so you know don't feel like you can't say anything this is a this is a safe space <laughs> this is a friendly space i know sometimes like it, it is it can be a bit annoying with designers like who you want to learn from like sometimes they they're not the friendliest or they're not the easiest to talk to because you know it's a f it's a funny line when you're giving advice um to someone who wants to do what you do like some people take offense some people just you know turn up their nose cuz they're like why should I teach you why should I show you you know this is my craft and stuff like that um I'm not that type I am the type that I'll be like okay cool or I'll do as much as I possibly can um you know physically can um to help um so i feel like doing this youtube channel is definitely one of the ways that i can extend a, a helping hand so yeah okay so now i am coming close to the end and what i'm doing here is i'm just trimming down some sequins to enhance the layered effect closer to the end of it because if i don't know if you guys can see i'm probably going to show you in a second if you see the completed cup on the right side it has more of a layered type of end kind of like bird feathers in a sense and it actually gives the cup a little bit more dimension i'm trying to show you how i cut the sequin hopefully it focuses but yeah this is basically just a shorter sequin and it's more layered and well no it's shorter and it's pointier not more layered but it's going to be um more of a, a of a level of more layered tight sequins so they're going to be closer together and they're going to be structured in a way where it's almost like bird feathers because if if you don't cut them down they're going to resemble the layer that's above them and it's not going to give you the effect that I think would pop, you know, this design off. So that's why I chose to cut them shorter and layer them to just give it a nice like bird like bird like layered effect and a neater finish and also something where, you know, it'll draw like the attention of your eyes. So you're looking at the design from the tip of the cup and coming down and then it all kind of like just comes together at the bottom of the cup well you'll see <laughs> as i go because i'm skipping ahead but basically i'm finishing it off with these amazing 
so in love with these sequins. With I'm finishing off finishing it off with some shorter sequins that I just tapered, and it it'll give it like a full finish. Oops, sorry, bump my camera. <laughs> it'll give it like a full finished look, and I think that is definitely necessary for this look. Just to kind of give it like a a wildfire wildflower type of bloom type of feel <laughs> i still don't know what i'm calling this um wire bra um i'm looking at it and i'm thinking oh you know i'm very theme oriented so i i will look at something and i'll be like oh my god i i have to name it this or i have to name it that or i have to name it this but i'm looking at this wire bra and i also asked on tiktok and i got a few answers that i did not even think of one lady told one lady um um said um call it a phoenix and then another lady said to call it like fireworks and i love fireworks like that is so cool like <laughs> almost kind of gives it like the theme of like special effects and i love that so much so i think i'm going to go with that but I also love the idea of calling it um, like a wild wildflower or a, f a, f a fire flower. I don't know, but I think I'm going to stick with, with fireworks. You guys can drop in, drop your comments in the section. And, uh, blah, blah, blah. You guys can drop um, your thoughts in the comment section, which you think I should name this bra as well. Um, but I love, I just love how this is turning out. Like, it's so pretty. And I cannot wait to see it underneath the sun. Like, I know it's going to pop off. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, we're almost done. Almost to the finish line. And I'm not really going to edit um, too much out of this video. Just because I want you guys to see the whole process. Like, I think that's so important especially for like aspiring designers um i i feel i'm still a rookie um but i'm going to tell you what i think obviously and um you can take it or you can just leave it hanging it doesn't matter but um i i don't think i'm going to stare anybody wrong but yeah i totally lost my train of thought but yeah i think this <laughs> it is definitely a popping design. Um, definitely eye-catching. Um, and definitely cheap. Oh my god. I, I'm trying to remember how much I spent on this fabric. I think it was probably like... Maybe definitely like around the 20 to $25 range. But then again, like that's a whole yard of sequin fabric. This is only like a quarter... I want to say I only use like a quarter in a quarter of a yard fabric to get um, this amount of sequins. If that, I don't even think I had a quarter yard of this fabric left, to be honest. So look at that. Like, look at that. You you just created like basically like something out of nothing that's that's how you know i feel like creativity should be that's what i feel like it should stem from you know especially in the carnival world because um there's so many things that you can use to create but i know a lot of designers tend to love to use gems and and you know the special trims and stuff and that's awesome and 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 wonderful and everything but at the end of the day you know use your talent stand out like literally use what you have just do your thing do the damn thing like literally knock people off knock people off their feet because they're not gonna expect this and at the end of the day you're still saving so yeah so guys this is the finished product it's so pretty it came out so much better than i imagined it would I hope you guys try this out, try out this technique. This is so gorgeous, especially for the amount of materials used. So guys, if you can, subscribe, like, you know, leave a comment <laughs> and share this video. Thank you for watching once again. Stay tuned for more tutorials.